Thank you. Once again, no conflicts we're going to talk about. We've, uh, a lot of people expanded on the glenoid track. You just, in order to kind of think through the idea of a hill sacs lesion that you would uh, perform a rump lesage on, you just need to know how to do this. I'm not going to take the time to tell you that. I'm going to make up some time here, too. So is there biomechanical evidence for uh, a bipolar bone loss model? This is a great study done, uh, and it shows eight cadavers. They made uh, uh, glenoid lesions and uh, hill sacs lesions. And so if they um, had a banker repair and no rump lesage, they would, the, the, uh, they would still in, in an off-track setting, they would still engage the hill sacs, but with the addition of the remplissage, the engagement would be prevented. So it's just a little study to uh, hang your hat on. We're going to do a lot of literature because I'm here to argue for this, and uh, I can't just show you cases just to say that's why it should be. Uh, so a systematic review, 778 patients, recurrence of out of these 13 articles, Bankart, 19.5, Ladders, 8.7, remplissage, 4.4. It's a, a study out of AJSM. Uh, Bankart repair versus bank repair with remplissage, 108 patients. Uh, you see the splits there. And Bankart with, had a recurrent instability of 18 uh, with the remplissage, 4%. Uh, yet another study, JSCS in 2020, uh, four articles, 379 patients. This is Bankart repair with remplissage versus ladder J, bipolar lesions. And you see the splits there. Uh, um, they were comparable with redislocation rate, and other complications uh, uh, were, were much much higher in Latter-J, and Dr. LaFosse illustrated that earlier. So let's just talk about straight up, bank, bank art repair with Remplissage versus Latter-J. A couple articles here. This Yang article, interestingly, is from uh, the Kaiser Group in uh, Sunset in Los Angeles, 189 patients, uh, uh, and this is a, a, a lot of uh, from Kaiser patients throughout the Southern California region. Latter-J had more complications. Latter-J was better for comp, uh, contact uh, uh, sport and better for glenoid bone loss, and I think that's been uh, emphasized already. So there's one for the uh, uh, Latter-J. Hurley, JSCS 2020, four studies, 379 patients. There, there's the splits. You, you can read them yourself. More complications with the Latter-J, same range of motion, same return to play. Uh, Hor Horonek, it's brand new, uh, it's still just not even in print, it, that's why it looks so ugly up, uh, up there. 258 patients, 770 uh, with the Remplissage and Bankart repair, 188 Latter-J, uh, Remplissage, uh, um, had, had more um, in, in terms of what, what those patients got. There were more with glenoid uh, bone loss and off track. The uh, remplissage had better uh, proms. The, bank, uh, the remplissage had less complications and it had more return to sport, interestingly, uh, compared to the, uh, the first and second studies where there were similarities. What did you say? Many of you are ASCS members and this is that great journal, American Journal of Orthopedics. I don't even know if it's in existence anymore, but this was a study done and it uh, was a survey 417 members of the ASCS, 125 responses, and remblissage was the procedure of choice for engaging hill sacs lesions. Ladder J procedure was advocated for glenoid lesions, and that's what you all know. So this is a te quick technique. It's not a video. So obviously, um, we can talk about anchors and, ind and individual passage with subacromial knot tying. Uh, nobody likes doing subacromial knot tying, especially in the posterior portion. So now there's this new knotless technique, not so new, but it's been around for a little while and so there's no subacromial knot tying and you can see that kind of wiggle waggle of the arms to bring the the knots down and you can see what this ends up for you right there that's pretty nice and those are courtesy of Pat Denard thank you so much so uh, very briefly very quickly um, uh, uh, Bankart solo in the latter day, not so much the answer with hi engaging hill sacs lesion. Remplissage is, uh, I think it, it's been proven. Uh, there's uh, the um, the other remplissage the advantages are over the latter share that there's less complications. And I have complete respect for the gentleman who came before me. He's a lot more experienced, uh, but I think uh, in this case of an engaging hill sacs lesion, the remplissage is the answer. Thank you very much.